Hey there, Pulmonaut. Welcome to another Monday. Congratulations on making it. You're still here. You're still kicking. And if you're hearing this, it means that you're still alive. And that is something worth celebrating. Because your life is unique. There's only one you on this entire planet. And that's you. So celebrate that. Today, on this Monday, I would like to talk about the spam of life and more importantly, how to deal with the spam of life. But what is the spam of life? The spam of life is happening all over the place. It doesn't matter where you look, reality is screaming at us. It's telling us, hey, look at me, look at me. And this is because our awareness is such a powerful thing. And wherever we send our awareness, we're also sending energy. This is why the spam of life is something that we need to learn to control. Now, we nobody likes spam. You know, if you open up your email, I'm sure you're going to be able to see that there's plenty of emails that's selling you shit that you don't want. And we call that, rightfully so, spam. Now, the spam of life works a little bit differently because the inbox is your mind. What that means is that we need to learn how to filter out the spam because Unlike your email that just sits there, that you can ignore these thoughts, uh, your mind that doesn't work like that. Once you've opened up and engaged with the spam of life, you're hooked and it will start influencing your emotional integrity. So, for example, you might be on Twitter or, you know, whatever social media network you're using, TikTok, YouTube, doesn't matter. And suddenly something happens. Somebody says something or you see a video or some latest news uh, gets blown up all over the media. No matter where you look, there it is. Politics is very famous for doing this. And the social media platforms, what they did is monetize this reality spam. And what they're doing is they're taking these controversial issues that pull on your heartstrings that makes you angry or fearful and forces you to engage with it. So how does this work? Sometimes you're just scrolling down, you see somebody say some stupid shit that you don't agree with and you feel compelled to provide your opinion. And the moment you do, potentially some other people with different opinions start piling up on, on your comments, uh, disliking it. Uh, the next thing you know, you're, you're fighting with strangers across the world or in some case, bots, spending your energy and your awareness on something that really doesn't provide you with any value. This is what I call the spam of life or reality spam. It's things that bring you no value and only shifts your frequency from a higher vibrational state to a lower vibrational state. So think about it. If you're engaging in some political discourse, you know, you're on one side, somebody else is on the other side of this argument. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel ecstatic? Do you feel like you have the ability to conquer the world? Or are you thinking about how these people are so different from you and how stupid they are and just how could people even be like this? And suddenly you're no longer in a place of power. You're in a place of submission towards these outside forces that have absolutely nothing to do with you. And it's important to learn how to tune out this reality spam but the question is how do you do that and the best way i know about doing this is from something that i learned from jocko willink which is where he speaks about the circle of power and the circle of influence and these concepts in my life has helped me a lot to just get rid of all of these things that don't matter so what is the circle of power the circle of power essentially is you. Everything that you do, the way you react, everything that you have direct power over, so your emotions, your actions, your thoughts, not even your thoughts, but just the, the reaction towards the thoughts, all of that lies within your power. So anything that lies in your power, that you must do. That is something that is highly important and that is not considered reality spam. The second circle is your circle of influence. And the circle of influence, as it suggests, is only where you have influence, but you have no power. 
So the lives of your friends and family, uh, people that you can directly talk to, where you can say, hey, you know, could you do this? And potentially they get to decide whether they do or don't comply with whatever you're asking. But that's your circle of influence. It only extends to asking people to, to do something or you, know, you could even you know order somebody to do something or push them to do something but ultimately they have the power in complying or ignoring your request but that's really the two realms of influence or realms of operation that you have as an individual your circle of power which is you and everything that you, that you control your emotions your actions and your non-actions and the circle of influence which is the people around you and in some some degree even social media you might be able to write a post or you know create some art and put it out there and that might influence people but on social media there's this illusion of influence uh, but in reality it doesn't achieve much uh, sometimes it does but in most cases it just serves to polarize people and makes people pick sides because digitally speaking what you believe in quote unquote is a part of your digital personality and so that's really what that's about nonetheless understanding that there are only really these two areas of control or areas of influence in your life you need to learn on how to live within those areas and 90 percent of the time you're living within your circle of power and you know 10 percent of the time you're you're utilizing your circle of influence to achieve things in your life so the next time you're on social media and you get angry or upset about a post or something like that you can literally stop for a second and say how much power do i have over whatever is being said in this current post or this topic that you might be engaged with and almost every time you'll realize there's no power this doesn't matter what you say or don't say you're not going to change what is happening that's number one and number two, you could say, well, if I were to post something, how much influence will this have on the whole topic, you know, the whole issue that's happening? And more likely than not, you'll realize that no influence whatsoever. So if you realize that you have no influence and no power over these things, you can just let it go and you don't have to worry about any of these type of things. Like that. There's fucking motorcycles right so i don't have any power or influence over that i just have to accept it so that's the part there's only acceptance when it's beyond you you can just accept that it exists and that it's a part of this world and that's it we're done there's nothing else you have to talk about on that aspect when things get a little bit too involved let's say you you stepped into the shit and it's all on you right now and you know your emotions are in a really bad place that's when you can go and return back to the breath. Just take a few moments, five, ten minutes, and just breathe. Just reconnect with the self and breathe out these thoughts and breathe out these emotions and just enjoy yourself again. Connect with that divine spark inside of you and you'll realize that the more you do that, the less these external events will start bothering you. So the challenge this week that I give out to all of you fine people is to catch yourself when you fall victim to the spam of life. Be aware and then actively decide to exercise in your circle of power to not engage. Accept that it's a part of life and then refocus on what matters truly in your life. And that'll be it. So just keep on breathing. I'll see you guys next Monday with another update. Thank you.